epic series, Ben, full of ups and downs, highs and lows. Um, standing here now at the end of it all, six weeks of effort. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, actually really good. I think, you know, 2-2 at the end of a series like this, I think, is a fair reflection of the, um, you know, two teams literally going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, you know, Australia, World Test Champions, absolute, you know, quality team. Um, but... You know, being 2-0 down after the first two games, I don't think many teams would have been able to respond in the manner in which we did. Um, so, yeah, look, I'm incredibly proud of everyone's efforts that they put in. You know, we've rotated through our teams, you know, it's particularly with the bowlers. And um, obviously, Woesley's played three games and he's just walked off with the player <laughs> of the series. So, um, yeah, look, it's just standing here, you know, pretty content about everything that we've achieved over the last seven weeks. Um, let's talk about today then. Yesterday, quite a difficult day, actually. H how hard... Did, was it for you to kind of lift the spirits and raise everybody after, after what happened yesterday? Uh, look, having played a lot of cricket, you, you know what it's like in the fourth innings chasing. Um, it's, it's one of those, Australia got off to a great start with uh, Dave and, and Ozzy. You know, I thought they played incredibly well to, um, you know, walk off with the amount of runs and, you know, none down as they did. But, you know, turning up again and knowing there was 250 runs on the board on the last day, um, it's always tough. You know, fourth innings pressure, you know, should never be underestimated. And, the wickets came in clusters and that's what's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, look, it was, it was do or die again. We've been do or die since the second game. And, um, you know, if anything, it, I've said it a few times, it really suits our mentality and the way that we go about cricket. Um, two, cri two players who helped turn it around for you this morning, um, they bowled in tandem, Chris Wokes and Mark Wood. They're the two players that you brought in midway through the series at Headingley and they've had a dramatic impact, both of them. Yeah, you know, real good. You know, the, the way in which Wokesy's come in and not only operated with the way in the manner in which he's done with the ball, but, you know, very crucial runs down the, down in the tail, batting an eight, they've been really good for us. And, you know, Woody's put some unbelievable performances um, in over those first two games. But yesterday and today, um, he could hardly walk. Um, and he did an unbelievable job to show that he wasn't sore and to still run in and bowl in the way which he did with those spells. I think you've got to give a huge amount of testament to the worry that's inside him. Um, just kept on saying, you know, throw me the ball and I'll run as hard as I possibly can. So uh, to have people like that in your team who will just run in and run in, you know, regardless of how their body is, it's great to have. Um, and, and then at the end there, in tandem, uh, two cricketers who walked off together, arm in arm, Stuart Broad uh, and Moeen Ali. Let's deal with each of them uh, one, one at a time. Uh, first of all, Stuart Broad, this is a place of farewells. He's announced his farewell. A, your reflections on him as a cricketer. And did you ever doubt that he was going to finish things off tonight? Um, yeah, look, I've played with Broadie for a long, long time. Uh, I've played... You know, 97 games, I think, and there's only a handful of those in which I've not. One of them, I didn't pick him because, you know, so. Um, but look, and he's been an unbelievable performer for England over a, a long, long time. Um, and to watch him come in, bowl the way he did today, and it was just written in the stars he was going to take the la that last wicket, wasn't it? Two left-handers at the crease, you know, the, the way in which he bowls to them, it was just quality and... Look, Mo came into the squad and into the team through an unfortunate injury to Jack Leach. Um, and, you know, there was a few things that I said about him with us picking it, but, you know, I chose him because I know what he could do in his best days. And when it really mattered, Mo produced one of his best days out on the field for an England player. And, look, he changed the game for us. Um, so I know Brody's walked off there, but, you know, Mo to retire, come back and put in the performance he's done at crucial moments is just incredible. Um, he's, he's, yeah, great servant to England as well as Jack Leach. Uh, and India next. Are so you going to be sending him a WhatsApp saying India question mark? <laughs> no, I'm bowling off spin now, so you know, <laughs> I'll be all right. Uh, no, look, I think we'll just let we'll let Mo just reflect on everything over the last six weeks, and um, you know we'll let him make that decision. Um, Chris talks about the catching there, which is extremely sharp at the back end of the series. Here, is there any part of you that thinks if we'd have been a bit sharper at the start, we might have turned two two to three two? Hindsight never loses, does it? Um, and you talked about making memories. Memories that I think everybody here in this ground today and everybody watching and listening uh, on television and radio uh, would thank you for. Uh, just a final reflection, maybe on Australia as well, who played uh, an absolutely full part in this series. Yeah, look, um, coming, coming into this series, if you look back, you know, 14 months ago, um, to, to bounce back from 2-0 down, it would have been... Um, tough for any team to, to come back and put in the performance we've done over the last sort of four to five weeks. Um, I mentioned to Pat there that, you know, what a series to be a part of, and, and I generally feel like it's almost what Test cricket needed. Um, you know, 
every player there who wears an Australian shirt and every player over there wears an England shirt is a massive advocate for Test cricket and wants Test cricket to stay alive. And, you know, I know we've been very vocal about, you know, making sure that that's a huge objective of ours in terms of the way that we play. And I think this series has, has really, really done that. I think it's captivated so many new fans. It's attracted a new audience towards the game. And, you know, Test cricket is the purest form of the game. I absolutely love it. So I hope this series has made it, you know, got even bigger before we started. Um, next Ash is two and a half years away. You're going to have the appetite for it? Uh, yeah, it's very hard to lose an appetite when you love Test cricket as much as I do. Many congratulations. Great performance today from your team. Thanks, Adams. Cheers.